Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on phylogenetic tree construction as made for MIMG 109BL at UCLA. This second video is on the multiple sequence alignment. By the end of this video, the student should understand the components of a FASTA file. The student should also be able to perform a multiple sequence alignment using MEGA software, as well as discuss the components of a phylogenetic tree. This flowchart reviews the workflow necessary to construct a phylogenetic tree. Upon receiving Sanger sequencing outputs, you should have already trimmed off the end sequences with low quality reads, as well as perform a database search for closely related sequences. At this point, you are ready to perform a multiple sequence alignment. In MEGA, click Align and then Edit Build Alignment to start. You'll be prompted to create a new alignment. Just make sure to select DNA in the next window. A new window will appear where you will load the sequencing data that you'd like to analyze. Go to Edit, then Insert Sequences from File. In the next window, select the FASTA files with the sequencing data that you'd like to analyze, including your Sanger sequencing data, any BLAST sequences, or any outgroup sequences you'd like to include in your analysis. To start the alignment, select all of the sequences in the window, then go to Alignment and click Align by Clustal W. For our purposes, the default parameters are OK. The alignment will start and will vary in time depending on the quality of your sequences and how dissimilar your sequences are to each other. This particular alignment took about 3 minutes, but I sped it up for the sake of this video. And now your alignment is complete. Take this time to examine the entire alignment. Notice the distribution of gaps throughout the sequences. You want to trim off the gaps towards the ends of the alignment while keeping the positions that are conserved throughout all of the sequences, as represented by the asterisks in this top line. These conserved areas are key for the construction of the phylogenetic tree. To trim, select the first box in the top line. This will highlight all of the nucleotides of that position. Scroll to the position where you'd like to end trimming and hold the shift key while clicking that position. This will flag the entire region. Now, go to Edit and Delete to remove that region. Repeat this process at the 3' end to complete your alignment. Before I conclude this video, I leave you with some considerations. I mentioned using outgroup sequences as part of this analysis, but if you don't have those yet, you can use the Hierarchy Browser tool from the RDP website to find both outgroup sequences and taxonomic anchors that will help you in the construction of your phylogenetic tree. Also, remember to realign and then re-trim every time you replace or add a new sequence to your alignment. Now that you know how to perform a multiple sequence alignment, ask yourself these questions. Are all the sequences in the proper orientation? Are there enough sequences of similarity across all of my sequences to construct the phylogenetic tree? And lastly, how are my outgroups affecting the quality of the alignment? Thank you.